think I might need to go even further. See if I can squeeze myself into the bush. Into the bush. <laughs> can I do a Homer meme? <laughs> of you anyway. coming out of the bush. <laughs> In view of the fact that we are going to be stocking Sigma lenses at Grays of Westminster, we decided to put some of their top models to the test. So first up is the 150 to 600. We're going to see how this contemporary line Sigma lens uh, holds up against the 200 to 500. Yeah, let's give it a proper spin. It's going to be challenging, but a great location. The weather is fine. So let's see what we get. Nothing can stop us now. Nothing at all. <laughs> So tell me, what are you using? What setup? So my setup at the moment is shutter priority with a thousandth of a second. Mm -hmm. I've stuck it on auto ISO because to be honest, it's going to be, it's so bright today. Yeah, and the it's thing is, go high. it gets really dark when the sun goes behind the clouds yeah. so, and it's changing all the time. So. Exactly. And then between shooting, you know, the birds with the reflection off the water mm -hmm. and then against the trees, the light's changing quite a lot. So that's why I've, I've gone for that option. What and about that's true. you? Thousands of a second is good to freeze the flying birds. Yeah. And they can run really fast. I thought about yeah. 500 of a second, but then I'm thinking like 1,000 probably would be a safe bet. I think for these guys who are flying across the lake here, makes sense to, to do a 1,000th. Otherwise, you'll never catch them. And here we go. Look how dark it became. Yeah. Straight away. Just like that. She's posing for you. She is beautiful. She's like, I'm not moving, take your time. <laughs> okay, we got some, a some bit of action there. There's some fight. Uh huh. He's teasing you. Yeah. Oh no, that's a Robin. It's good when you know what noise they make. I'm doing this video game angle where you go like on the left or right hand side of the first video. You know? Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hi. All right. I want to see that shot. You want to see the shot? Yes, please. OK, so that's the shot. I don't know oh, if you can see that. Look at you. Look at you little rascal. <laughs> it's like really, and then you just look at me. Nice and tight. Yeah, we got so good. Z6 on a big design tripod. And there he is. I'm shooting a nice scene in here, which you can't see because of the reflection. And now we have back here pointing. <laughs> I'm pointing this her way. Sigma lens out. Because I want to move. Okay. I forgot I turned the and screen she is off. You see what I'm Filming. doing? Oh, who is it? This is the crane. It's a heron. Look. Oh, right. Look. Can you see him? Interesting. And which tripod do you have back? I've got the three-legged thing, Billy. Billy, it? my mate Billy. Okay. Oh, he's moving. Don't move. Don't move. Stay there. Hi. Oh, hey, you. Oh, hey, mate. <laughs> That's actually a good idea to use a flipper screen. Oh, yeah. You save me crouching down. Absolutely. <laughs> Trying to do some macro with the 150 to 600. Yeah, it's going Is that well. The best macro lens you've ever used. Yeah, it's going well so far.
the moment has come. We're going to swap the lenses now. Yeah. And then I'll find out how good the 150-600 is compared to 500-200. to 200-500. 200 to 500. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay. Oh, I already feel the weight difference. The weight is about the same. Wildlife, where are you? All right, I do find that this beard is a bit annoying after coming from Nikon lenses. Yeah. Because going this way when you need to zoom in is a little bit unnatural to me. Ditto. Because, okay, it's, it's, it's easier to zoom out. Yeah. But I actually would prefer to use that movement to zoom in because I can do it much faster mm. than zoom yeah. out this way. So Very nice. pretty. This is nice. Let me get my fishing rod ready. <laughs> I was going to say, get comfortable. Where's my, where's my chair? <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. In the little tent. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Well, the gulls in flight. All right, so let's try. A real large bin. Just gonna see if I can try to do something interesting with that. Okay, so we've taken some shots mm -hmm. with both lenses, but mainly testing out the Sigma lens. And we're gonna go back to the office and have a look at the images on the big screen. Yeah. So far, what's your impression about the lenses? Obviously, this one compared, one, Sigma one compared to uh, Nikon. Well, the 200 to 500, I haven't really used that much. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did our Richmond shoot, you shot with that one. That's true, and you had 500 PF. Yeah, I just love the 500 PF. Uh, but for today's shoot, I found it took me some getting used to with that one. Mm -hmm. However, although I enjoyed using this one because I knew which way to turn the zoom, just helpful. Simple things, but quite useful when you need to get the shots yeah. done. Yeah, but I prefer the size of that one. I just yeah. find it much less top heavy. With this one, I can only carry it this way. It's That's so true. cumbersome. That's um, true. And it's, I mean, it's not a lens for hand holding, really, I don't think. Okay, do you enjoy extra 100 millimeter focal distance on the longer end? Very much so, and I prefer the extra 50 mil at the wider end, so I like the range on this lens. Mm -hmm. The fact that the closest focusing distance is a little bit longer, so it's 2.8 meters instead of 2.2 mm. meters, was noticeable for me. But you know me, I'm always walking straight up to subjects. I'm always like, In your how face. close can I get? <laughs> so, uh, so I did notice that with this, with the Sigma. So I'll be intrigued to see what the shots look like. That's true. You know, one thing that I like, and I just found out a second ago. It's actually made in Japan. Ah, yes. All Sigma lenses are made in Japan. Every single one. Interesting. Yeah. It's good to know, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go and have a look at the pictures. Let's have a look. Right now, the second. Immediately. <laughs> let's go. Teleport <laughs> to the shop. Now, I will say looking at my photos, and I think we've got very similar images in a lot of cases. It's almost like we were in the same place at the same time. Almost. Um, there is no clear winner for this general type of photography. I would say that the Sigma, because of its more compact size and its slightly cheaper price, mm -hmm. for a lot of people that will be more appealing. As well as extra 100 millimeter focal distance. Yeah, exactly. One thing I will say is that the 200 to 500's focusing was quieter and smoother. Not necessarily more accurate, but mm -hmm. I did find that I felt when the Sigma would focus. I could feel the motor working. You could actually, yeah, you could feel it in your hand that something was moving inside the lens. Absolutely, I agree with you. And then also the handling of 200 to 500 overall is better, in my opinion, compared to Sigma's. However, it's a larger lens overall. Uh, so for portability reasons, yeah, 150 to 600 is the best choice, in my opinion. I think they priced 
accordingly. So for spending a couple of hundred extra, for 200 to 500, you get overall a slightly better lens, but they're quite comparable at the same time. So it's not a massive difference in terms of performance. And if you do need the convenience of extra, let's say uh, 100 millimeters focal distance, slightly smaller lens, and you don't mind slightly slower focus, then Sigma is a great choice for that. Yeah, people is more my thing. <laughs> Not birds? Nah.